Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET tutorial. Now we are in the final part of the subseries ASP.NET list view control. In this video, we will see how we can edit data using the list view control. In all our previous video, we saw how to use the templates manually. Now we will look at some of the predefined structure and then we will see how to edit the data. So by this time you know how to use group template, layout template, item template, alternate item template, all those stuff. Now let's directly go to the demo as we are going to use the built-in options. Now let's create one more web form. Edit data. Now we will place SQL data source. and configure it we will use a new connection string as we are going to pull data from the pubs db next next here I cloned the jobs table into jobs one since we are going to do with the editing that's why we cloned the data so we can work on this cloned data to perform a modification or if you need you can create your own tables with some sample data to work with the example and when star is there all data will get selected or you can pick whatever data you want so that's all data is ready for our modification let's click finish and we will name this as this DS jobs. Now we will place the list view control and choose DS jobs. Save the content and go for configure list view. And if you see, there are predefined layouts here. In all our previous video, we defined the layout ourselves. If you need, you can use the layout as shown here. So this is a grid based layout, right? When I click OK here, and if you examine this source, you can see how it is using the layout template, right? And here, if you see item placeholder is used as id but for table row they are using it as an item placeholder right inside the layout template now item placeholder will come and replace this table row content if you look at item template they defined the data like this and if you see they defined a table structure that comprises of four table data with one row right so now you got an idea of how layout and the other templates can be used right since we manually did all those stuff now you know how to use it so this is the tiled style bulleted list flow single row right 
now let's go ahead with the grid that looks nice then uh, there are other styling formats this is professional and this one is blue let's go ahead with the professional style then this is enable paging editing is not available because we should go here configure data source next advanced and use insert update generate statements next and click finish now if you come here before that we will do save all and configure okay this is list view right configure list view before that let's check uh, okay this job is selected configure list view grid this is tile and this is grid let's go ahead with the tile right and uh, there are multiple styles for the tile and here we are choosing professional then enable editing and enable paging we are invoking here instead of page number we will use a numeric page right we use then we will be getting button like this let's go ahead with numeric page and click regenerate list view yes save all now that's all we have the list view ready this time we are using the pre-configured templates and we will view the content in your browser so that's all now data is presented as a tile from a jobs table if you want to edit you can do that right okay all are working fine so this ends this sub series thank you for watching bye